Let me say, first things first, where is my authentic self? Now, I know that there is emotional, psychological, spiritual, and psychic energy hidden in these junk drawers and in this crowded closet. I want simplicity and I want order. And that's what we're gonna talk about today, guys. We're gonna talk about decluttering a little bit, our wardrobes, our closets. Yes, that topic that we never wanna talk about. That silent to-do list, that thing we put to the side. We need to talk about that today. Welcome home. Is it possible we ask ourselves to restore our sanity. I sure hope so, because I need a comforting space, a satisfying place. I need to keep my sanity, and I need a place for everything, okay? So I think the very first thing that I need to do is to distinguish between my needs and my wants. Yeah, I think I need to do that. I'm only going to keep the things that I really, really love. What suits me for today. Not yesterday. Not what I'm thinking I'm going to become in the future. Although I would like to keep some things for what I want to become in the future. But I think right now what's best for me is to just keep those things that suit me for today. My style for today. The things that I really, really love. Even if I can't wear them, maybe I can sew something. Maybe I can make jewelry or a hat out of recycled material. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to recycle that material into something else. And I hope that you guys would consider doing that as well. I give a lot of things away to the Goodwill all the time. At least once a year, I go through my closet and I discard some things because usually I'm always bringing something new in. But lately, I have stopped bringing things in because I just I just don't need to do any shopping. I just don't need anything new. I have enough in the closet. It's already overcrowded and I can't find anything. But I'm just going to go through again and find those things that I really, really love. Things that when I put them on, they flatter me. They flatter me. The color is good for me. You know what I mean. And so I suggest that you guys do that too. Before you even toss to the Goodwill, decide if it's a material or something that you just really love. It is a pretty print and you can no longer fit it. It is too big because you have lost weight like I, or it is too small because you have gained weight, but you want to keep it. You really, really love it. So see how you can transform it into something else. You know, clutter tells us a little something about ourselves. It lets us know something is going on. I have a confession. I, at one point of time, carefully took care of every dress lovingly in my closet and every hat and somewhere I don't know within the last year and a half I believe I don't think it's been longer than that I have just been dumping clothes and hats all over the house packing things up and boxes and bags saying that I'm going to give them away or I'm going to sell them on Marketplace. They are just falling out of my closet. They are not on hangers like they used to be. I do not know the day or the time it got like that. I do remember cleaning it all up and somehow they are back strung on chairs, on the floor, on bags and boxes, all kinds of things that I have placed in my closet over the years. 
and I really haven't been going anywhere like I normally do. Putting on those clothes, I'm trying to figure out how they're off the hanger. Was I playing dress up? I know I have traveled, so I'll, I'll take that back. I have packed my clothes and suitcases because I never pack away my suitcase. My suitcase is always unpacked and ready to go. It's always something in various suitcases. So I take that back. They have been in suitcases. I may have changed clothes around, but I really haven't been anywhere. I have worn those same clothes uh, where I've been. I've been visiting my parents. I visit my dad. I visited my mom, and I, I stay quite a while, and really just put on the same clothes. Didn't even use all of the clothes in my suitcase. But I know something is going on. That's not what we're really here for today. We're just talking about less is more, tidying up a bit. But I want you to think about that. Clutter actually tells us something. It really does. Now, I'm no minimalist. Not by any means. I don't think so. I've always been conservative. And I believe I've always bought what I needed. And I buy things that are functional. But I've been lately been trying to adopt the less is more attitude. I've always adopted the less is more attitude. I'm a fashion girl now. When I put on my clothes, I don't put on a lot of jewelry, a whole lot of accessories. I, I use them, but I believe less is more. So I've adopted that attitude in my fashion stance that I don't have so much going on. That's the way I used to be in my past. But I really haven't adopted the less is more as far as buying the clothes. Now, I love my clothes. And as I said, I have slowed down, actually come to a stop in buying clothes. So now I'm trying to adopt the attitude less is more in my life with clothing. And once you get started, how many of you know, once you get started with one thing, you'll go on. It will move into another area. Less is more. That's the great thing about evolving and improving. (laughs) It really is. You start something with your finances before you know you're working on your health and so on. But I do truly believe that less can be more. What do you think? It just really amazes me, the whole concept of less is more and minimalism. It really does. Because as far as my wardrobe, I always felt that more was better. If I never had to wear the same thing over, hey, I was happy. I would pride myself that I didn't have to wear the same thing over it for at least 30 days if I just wanted to. And to now be priding myself on, oh yeah, I can wear this over and over and over again because I really like this color. I really like this pattern. Just amazes me. How your thoughts can just change as you start really thinking about things. Digging deep. I still want beauty though. I still want beauty. And I'm just trying to figure out how to have a harmonious life with beauty and order and simplicity. 
<laughs> Easier said than done, I'm sure. But let's go on. Honey, I know this is not your typical decluttering video. You know, there's nothing typical on this channel. You know it's called the Creative Living Channel. <laughs> you already know. But I truly believe this is where the real work needs to begin. It is emotionally, it is spiritually, and finding out what you need to do before you start the physical task. What it is that you truly want. Now, if you want deep cleaning, I have done that video too. I have done that already. And you can check it out in the homemakers playlist. I believe I created a decluttering playlist because I actually did four or five parts of decluttering. I got really thorough about it. About deep cleaning. About cleaning your car. I also talked about what to do with your heirlooms. So I had many different parts for decluttering. It's really thorough. So if you want that, just the physical, it is there. I have done that. But I thought I would come back and talk about that true home caring. Because it starts with our thoughts. It starts inside of us, and then we make the move to actually decluttering the physical space. And what happens when you decide what you want ahead of time is that you would actually be able to maintain, sustain what you have decluttered what you have cleaned, what you have organized. That's what I believe. So I'm a work in progress too. As I learn things, I come on here and I share it with you, hoping that it resonates with you. Because this is what it's all about. It's all about living a creative life, enjoying our lives in every area, and this is an important topic. Being home for me is an important topic. My sacred space, my physical place. It's important and I know it's important to you as well. We spend a good majority of our time at home when we're not at work, probably more so in the bed or the kitchen but I thought our closets was a good place to talk about today. Because I know very well those hidden places, spaces, they weigh us down. They do weigh us down psychically because we always feel that we have something to do. And I just want to discover a way to just really have that behind me once and for all. And that's why I thought that if I go over what I'm going through emotionally at the time, and as I said, spiritually, that this may help me keep up those hidden spaces keep them tidy long term this time because obviously something is going on like I said I keep tossing the clothes on the floor in different places in the chair I have a small walk-in closet and the way it looks right now I would say I need to add on I need a bigger walk-in closet and I consider that. 
seriously, at one point, I asked around. I said, can I open up this wall and, <laughs> and make this bigger? And looked at the area it will go out toward in my house. Because it would actually go not into another room. My closet would actually go outside to my house, outside of my house, so I could actually add on an addition, I'm sure. And then I had this moment, moments in the YouTube world, now that I'm a YouTuber and I find myself down the rabbit hole like many of us, and I have found myself in that minimalism space and decluttering space. And here I am, thinking that I no longer need a bigger closet, although it would be nice. Not for clothes, maybe to just sit in the closet and have one of those dreamy, romantic, type closets that I see in luxury houses to just sit with my glass of wine or my glass of sparkling water and have me a big full mirror, play dress up with my granddaughter, put my jewelry in there, my jewelry boxes, and play dress up. Maybe for that purpose. Maybe for self-care. Maybe for my own hideaway. It would be nice for. But probably not for more things. Because another thing, as you get older, and thanks to one good thing about the pandemic, is that some of us stayed home a little bit more is that you found out you don't really want to go anywhere. You may not. And so you're not putting on clothes to go anywhere. But because I'm on YouTube, I put on my clothes for YouTube. <laughs> so it reminds me of going into the office, those days I had going into the office dressing up. But yeah, here, here we are together. Here we are together and we are deciding what we're going to do, right? With the clothes and whatever else that you have in your closets. And actually right here on the screen, as you're watching, I have given the basic steps to start on your commitment to decluttering the closet. It's right here. Now, those are the basic traditional steps that we normally hear about how to declutter. And it works. It does work. It's our A, B, C, D, E, F, G step. One, two, three, four, five. All right, here's where I want to leave you. This is what I want to leave you with. And I say the bonus, the best for last. <laughs> and this is especially for my women viewers out there. I want to repeat what Coco Chanel says. Said, elegance does not consist in putting on a new dress. Think about that. Let me tell you, elegance is your personal style that requires that you only major in the classics, in comfort, color, shape, fabric, value, 
and appropriateness. So think about that before you clean your closet. And I also want to leave you with a question. And you don't have to answer right now. But I want you to think about it. And then I want you to live in the answer. When did you feel most beautiful? I love you guys. If you're not a subscriber, please become a new subscriber. Live here creatively with me. Like the video, pass it along, and I'll see you guys on a future video.